This $35 blazing fast gaming PC USB stick promises to turn any PC, including this old Raspberry Pi, well it's included in here, into a blazing speed gaming computer. And today we're going to just take a look at how misleading this advertisement actually is. So one of my viewers recommended that, and I'll of course put his, you know, his, his comment up here, but he basically recommended this lovely piece of, uh, this lovely website actually, and he was like, you know, you should definitely check it out because what it advertises is complete, um, it is not accurate. Uh, so what all this appears that it actually does is that it gives you a bootable USB stick that you use to run lightweight uh, Linux on and boot from and therefore the entire basis of this operation is basically just selling 16 gigabyte USB sticks and loading free versions of Linux on there with free Linux of course Linux is free well most versions you load the free version on there or load a free distribution of Linux and then you buy the USB sticks which 16 gigabyte U sticks are almost like down to like five bucks now so they're walking away with a solid 30 bucks worth of profit and they're advertising that it has blazing speed for gaming which I don't know what the first idea you come up to in your head when you think of blazing speed for gaming uh, but this would not be one of them uh, a USB stick uh, it really just depends on the computer you have uh, for surfing the internet watching videos and downloads so I just want to point out something real quick uh, I actually went through and looked into doing this and I pretty much ordered this actually a couple weeks ago and I want to point out the fact that after I pretty much did this I made sure I clicked on nothing that would you know give no no like promotional emails or anything every single one of these is because you ordered from extra PC let's go down the list here well the steam <laughs> we don't want steam so we go to card security and they pretty much not only do they sell you a product that is highly misleading they literally go through and spam your email up with complete like I'm, I'm not gonna lie like so when did I go through and do this I did this on January 10th as you can see it's the 31st and almost every single day I get junk email from this company and obviously I can unsubscribe and all that stuff but who knows how like you know good that is they already have my information now and they're already like each one of these promotional emails probably make them more than they're getting from all the USB business combined so this is literally the most annoying thing part of this video altogether I just had to say that sorry oh my god I didn't even check my promotion side look at this after I, literally after we get this not we have literally more spam emails I haven't even gone through what Oh my gosh, and these are, this is selling fake products, fake Apple AirPods. Oh my gosh. So here it is, and I want to apologize first off. I'm sick with something. I'm not really sick, but just my voice sounds like complete garbage, so apologies. Uh, but here it is. I'm going to still record this video because I got this in the mail, and this is pretty fun. So here we are. We've got ourselves a USB stick that promises to be a gaming PC. Let's find out what it is. It's sealed. I haven't checked this out yet. And uh, the bubble wrap itself probably is worth a pretty penny. And inside, oh, we get, there's really the question is, is this worth 30 bucks? So what do we have here? What do we have here? Um, we have requirements. We have a laptop or desktop made in 2007 or later with a 64-bit CPU. I don't think the processor is um, that, no. So what is this? This is a Cruiser Blade 16 gigabytes. So this is a little USB stick with a sticker on it that has extra PC on it. Now, right away, this USB stick, if I were to take a guess, is probably going to cost you, at, on the high end, probably more than like eight bucks. So they, they charge us 35 bucks for putting a free Linux distribution on there and the eight bucks that we are 
paying for this USB drive. Now for 16 gigabytes, a whopping surprise here, um, I would not be surprised based off the evidence provided that we have gotten spam emails since buying this, but this thing is also fill, filled with bloatware, and I would not be surprised. Now, uh, I know there's not too much that you can get on Linux that's surprisingly bloatware, but if I were to take a guess, this has got bloatware on it. Um, okay, so let's go over these system requirements. We've got, huh, make sure your computer is running in Windows. Um, navigate to the, so wait, you have to have Windows for already installed. You have to have Windows 10 installed. Uh, and some of the things that it advertises, uh, speed up your old computer, over 200,000 PCs use extra PC or extra customers. On today's episode of 200,000 people have made a big mistake. I don't know. Wasted money? I don't know. Old life for new computer. Or old, new life for old computers. Um, yeah. Let's see if I can get this to boot. I'm going to go see if I can find like an old laptop or something. What the heck is this? Like, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm curious to see how much these things actually cost. Give me a sec. Oh no, sorry. These things cost $6. So in $35, these guys got literally 30 of it. So what's the point of today? Well, point of day is this is a ripoff. Um, let's go see what is underneath the sticker. I'm curious, did they even remove the logo, the SanDisk logo? Oh no, they didn't even remove the SanDisk logo. It's still on there. So really, they just put what you're paying $30 for is a sticker and some packaging and a free distribution of Linux. So with, let's actually see what this free distribution of Linux is like. Um, I'm interested to see what they include on here and don't include on here. So let me try to inst install this. Actually, let's try booting it up on test system. I think I got that working. Do I have a test system? Let's boot it up on this computer. This computer's got Windows already installed, I think. I might have moved it to Linux. Actually, I don't know. We'll find out. So, so how to start using extra PC, guys. We've inserted the um, USB stick, um, and we're going to pretty much just do this now. So what we need to do is, we need to, what this tells us to do is just basically select the boot drive. And, oh, we've got, oh my goodness. Oh boy. Yeah, pretty much, oh, look at these pictures too. Look at these pictures that they include. It's literally just, it's so bad how this is done. They, they literally just took their phone and took a picture of the screen for these, these, these with screenshots. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. This is probably a mistake. What exactly are they doing here? Um, well, they're pretty much going through and advertising a bit of... I think this is going to be some distribution of Linux, a lightweight version probably, loaded up with their favorite distributions of money-making software, or adware, bloatware, whatever you want to call it. And basically what they do is they just sell you the USB stick, a $6 USB stick with whatever much time it takes to actually upload and install the operating system on there. And then they go through and they sell it to people for an uh, extremely high markup value. Now, if you really wanted to replicate something on this, like this on your own, you could just grab any USB stick whatsoever. You could pretty much just put a text file that says how to install it and find yourself the latest distribution of Linux. You could get, um, I know Debian was a really nice one back when Raspbian was a big thing. Um, I know back when Raspberry Pis first came out, they were really popular, um, I think the Raspbian version. Um, so let's see, boot. Oh boy, boot priorities, oh boy. It's all set up. Hey. Let's, let's save and exit. Yay. 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 So, yeah, back when Raspbian was a big thing on the Raspberry Pis, um, it was basically a Linux distribution that was extremely lightweight, built for the Raspberry Pis, because obviously the first gen only had one core, 
and so you were pretty much just stuck with whatever you could get and obviously it was slow but it was optimized for the hardware and what I have a feeling is they just picked one of they probably just googled what's the most optimized uh, Linux distribution and pretty much just copied and pasted that onto this USB drive I spent probably maybe like three cents on some marketing and some actual paper and wow they probably put yeah it looks like they've slapped some fancy logo on there in the start menu and uh, yeah wow I'll let you know when I'm impressed so the big question we all want to know though is this advertises being a blazing fast blazing speed uh, gaming computer so or at least promises to turn any computer into blazing speeds in gaming Let's see if I set this. Yeah, this is this is like Ubuntu. This is I'm getting definitely Ubuntu vibe. Um, yeah, I'd say yep. It's I'm definitely I'm gonna hedge my bets on it. It's an older version of Ubuntu as well. Um, uh, password. Oh yeah, we're going to we're going to do the classic one two three four five six. Uh, log in automatically because you guys can tell how much I'm going to be using this, and. Um, yeah. This is definitely a bun too. A really old version too. Oh. Oh no. This is this is either got to be an extremely old version or I don't understand what's cuz I didn't think this was an issue. How how many how many files do you need to install? Yes. Um oh boy. I, yeah, it's definitely Ubuntu is what I'm getting the vibe of. Um, yeah, I think really the best way to describe like what they did here is they just said, hmm, you have a slow PC. Let's go through and put a Band-Aid on it and pretty much just knock down the stress that the operating system is putting on there. So if you still want to go through and actually play anything on here, you're going to have a very fun time because it's still going to be crap. Um, so, what do we get on here? Oh, there we go. I knew bloatware was somewhere on here. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Okay, so here we go. Um, so, uh, it pretty much goes through and gives you some options to install applications automatically selected. Now, some of these I definitely think are necessary. So, for example, we've got Media, media Codex. Um, we've also got some uh, Media Player, which I don't know if I'd pick that one, and Rhythm Box. But some of these are pretty much, okay, this, this first one looks pretty standard. Okay. And then the next is the license terms. So, it's like license, uh, licenses for Rhythm Box, uh, VLC media, media Player, and uh, it's like Audio Codex, Google Chrome. Okay, next. Um, uh, connect to the internet. Recheck internet. Yeah, this is a really old version of Ubuntu. There you go. I was spot on the money. Ubuntu 18.04.2. So Ubuntu isn't even a super lightweight version of Linux. There are lighter versions. I would say that, well, yes, Ubuntu, there's nothing wrong with Ubuntu. I think that, uh, actually, I'm seriously considering it for my next PC uh, just to do all the video editing stuff because it's relatively lightweight. They pretty much just took a default version of Ubuntu and put that sucker on your favorite little PC. They added some backgrounds and some custom pictures and stuff, and... Um, yeah, that's all they did. So the big question to see, really since I can't really do much with this other than, I don't know, we can try installing Minecraft on here, but I don't know if I trust that. Because um, I know Minecraft will run fine on the hardware that I have. It's, it's already decent hardware. It's got two quadros in it. Um, but the point being is what they're advertising here is a really, really... I don't know, shady way of doing things. Uh, they've got pretty much, well, it doesn't look like I see any like bloatware on the actual 
Uh, let's see, applications. Do I have any applications on here? There's nothing really on here that is, they've installed LibreOffice, but there's nothing on here that really shouts bloatware. Um, what does kind of concern me though is the fact that there, the emails all, already were that I was getting from just like looking at this product was crazy. Also, what they're advertising this as is something that can speed up old computers. Well, yes, it can in some circumstances. Um, in reality, the, especially if you went from a more lightweight distribution of Linux to this, it's really shady and it's not necessarily true f accurate. All this does is that instead of making your PC run faster, maybe by optimizing BIOS settings or having an overclocking profile, you know, I don't know, that'd be really cool actually, USB stick you automatically overclocks your PC for you. Um, I, the, the, you'd have to have so much BIOS support, it wouldn't even be worth it. But no, they just take what your operating system is and don't take what you already have and make it faster, they change it. And I think that having to install a different operating system does not make Windows faster. That's kind of misleading. So to answer your question, is this a scam? Eh. It's definitely very misleading. And um, yeah, misleading advertising. So thank you all very much for watching. Have a good day.